Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the calf musculature, namely the soleus and then the gastrocnemius. We start by painting the soleus because it's the deeper of the two muscles, and then later we will add the gastrocnemius over the top. The soleus is the deeper of the two muscles, and it is mainly responsible for plantar flexion of the ankle. Its origin is on the posterior surface between the fibula and the tibia, and it inserts into the calcaneal tendon, which is more commonly referred to as the Achilles tendon. In a moment on our video, we're gonna have a bit of a skip uh, to me finishing the full muscle, and that's because we lost the battery on the camera. So apologies for that. And here is a showcase for the soleus. So you'll notice that it only crosses one joint, which is the ankle. Therefore, it can only have an effect over that joint. Uh, it has no effect over the knee. Now we've finished with the soleus, we get to work with painting the gastrocnemius. The gastrocnemius is an example of a biarticulate muscle. This basically means that it's a muscle that crosses two joints. People tend to think of the gastrocnemius as solely an ankle plantar flexor, but actually because it crosses the knee, it can also create an amount of knee flexion. The rule of anatomy is that if a muscle crosses a joint, it has to have an effect over that joint. So the gastrocnemius, it originates on the posterior surface of the femur, crosses the knee, and inserts on the calcaneal tendon, or using its more commonly referred to name, the Achilles tendon. The gastrocnemius is a muscle that has two heads. It has a medial head that sits closer towards the midline of the body, and a lateral head that sits further away from the midline of the body, towards the outside. The Achilles tendon is one of the strongest in the entirety of the body. It has to deal with ground reaction forces caused by walking, running and jumping. These can be in excess of eight times your body weight. The ankle is a perfect example of a class one lever. This, combined with the elastic properties of the Achilles tendon, make the ankle very effective at absorbing and producing force. And there we have the full showcase for the gastrocnemius and the soleus. You can see the soleus kind of bulging out around the outsides of the Achilles tendon. Now, both of these muscles will help plantar flex the ankle it's a very powerful movement. And the gastrocnemius will assist in flexion of the knee. I hope that you found this video useful and thanks for watching.